This case is especially troubling as the suspect is a police officer. The police inform me of this when they establish the identity of the victim. The suspect in this case is a 34-year-old police officer of senior staff sergeant rank. Today is a sad day for the police. Today we have arrested a murder suspect who is also a policeman. The police have brought into custody Iskandar bin Rahmat, Singaporean male, 34 years, a police officer attached to Badok police station. He will be charged for the brutal murders of Tan Bun Sin and his son Tan Chi Hyong that happened three days ago at Hillside Drive. I cannot remember the last time the murder suspect was also a police officer. After the shocking events of Wednesday afternoon, police investigators worked tirelessly around the clock to first identify the perpetrator and then to hunt him down. When I was first told that the murder suspect could be one of our own, my initial reaction was disbelief swiftly followed by anger and anguish. This was the same gamut of emotions police investigators had to deal with in the last few days as they pursued the suspect. We have now captured Officer Eskandar and we will prosecute him to the greatest and maximum extent. He is a murder suspect and will eventually receive just desserts for the heinous crime that he is accused of committing. Officer Iskandar's fall from grace has brought about dishonor to the 10,000 other police officers who dedicate themselves every day to protecting others and who routinely risk their own safety to preserve those of others. And I wish that I can turn back the clock and undo this great misfortune that has befallen upon the Tang, the Tang family. But I know that no amount of commiseration or regret will lessen the hurt. All we can do is to bring the culpable to justice and to mourn with the rest of Singapore the senseless loss of two lives. Even as we investigate the murders, the police also look to find out what has led an individual who has sworn to uphold the law to now stand accused of breaking it in the most grievous way. Our police force and every policeman and policewoman is tarred by the actions of this single officer. We will not allow this tragedy to adversely affect the strong bonds that we share with the communities that we protect.